Welcome back guys to another video and in today's video I will be sharing with you what is the best financial institution to go to to refinance your mortgage. Well the answer to that is pretty simple. You should work with somebody that's giving you the best rate, the lowest costs, and hopefully the best service. On a refinance that doesn't matter too much but still I would, I would like to work with somebody that is communicating good um, and is a nice person to work with. But before we dive in deeper, before I tell you what institution is best for you as far as refinancing goes, first let's figure out what type of loan product or loan you have. Because once we figure that out, then we'll be able to see what lender will be best for you. Because you want to work with somebody that, um, it's always a good practice to work with somebody that specializes in a certain niche. You have a lot of financial institutions that uh, have an all-encompassing umbrella that do everything. But they, but you, you know that they're, they're, there's a niche that they're really, really good at. So let's look at the different loan types so you can figure out what loan you have. So on today's video, we're going to talk about loans here in Alameda County, Santa Clara County, San Francisco County, because those counties are very similar because the per capita income um, are is higher as compared to San Joaquin County. Um, so I'm pretty much going to talk about the major counties, or pretty, uh, pretty much I'm going to talk about the Bay Area. In itself so let's go to the board real quick to fix, see what loan types are out there so you have three main loan types you have the conventional loan you have a conventional high balance and you have a jumbo loan now let's go on the board real quick so you can visualize it a little better in the bay area loan amounts that are five hundred and nine 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 are considered conventional conforming loans Loan amounts between $510,000 and 765599 are considered conventional high balance loans. Loan amounts that are $765,601 and above are considered jumbo loans. Now that we have the loan amounts figured out, let's go see what lenders are out there and what each lender does really well so you can figure out what lender to go with or where to start your search if you have that type of a loan. Okay, so if you look on the board, uh, there are two types, I've categorized them in two types of lenders. There are retail lenders and wholesale lenders. So retail lenders are pretty much your big bank, shout out Bank of America. So if you can walk into, this is an easy way to remember this, if you can walk into a location like credit union or a bank, those are known as retail lenders or you want to call them banks, right? Those lenders are, they portfolio lend. What that means is they usually lend their own money because they have access to large capital, a lot of funds. So those guys are going to be very competitive on your jumbo loans. Jumbo loans meaning loan amounts that are $765,000 or above. Those are your jumbo loans. So, but it's not to say you, could, you only want to go and check these lenders out. You want, you want to ask around and have your options open, but those guys are going to be very, very competitive on your jumbo loan sizes. The next lender is uh, the wholesale lender. Um, wholesale lender is are pretty much lenders that you cannot go directly to, hence they're called wholesale lenders. You have to work with a broker, mortgage broker, that will connect you to these wholesale lenders. Common examples of wholesale lenders are Quicken Loans Mortgage, um, United Wholesale Mortgage. Now, Quicken Loans Mortgage also has a retail channel called the Rocket Mortgage. You can go to them uh, as well, but um, first let me tell you what these guys are good at. So wholesale lenders are going to be very, very competitive um, for if you have a conventional loan or if you have a conventional high balance loan. Um, those loans are going to be, you know, like we had mentioned, and all loans that are below 765k you want to go check out the wholesale lenders you want to go to your mortgage broker because they're going to be very very competitive on those on those types of uh, loans now uh, wholesale lenders don't lend their own money they use warehouse lines i don't want to get too confusing this is a topic for another day but if you're interested in finding out what are warehouse lines what is a secondary market go to our blog cutandshares.com blog and uh, uh, search uh, our video called Behind the Banker's Curtain. It's a quick five, six minute video and it'll help you really understand what the secondary market is and what are warehouse lines. Earlier in the video, I had mentioned something about Rocket Mortgage, which is the retail channel for Quicken Loans Mortgage. 
you can go to them directly, but if your loan amount is in the conventional and con uh, or conventional conforming high balance, those loan limits, um, they are not gonna be as competitive as your mortgage broker is. Even though it's part of Quicken Loans Mortgage and they're a wholesale lender, the retail channel is not as competitive. You can by all means go and try that. But if you are a conventional, uh, if you have a conventional loan or a high balance loan, I would highly recommend to start your search at a mortgage broker's office. They are gonna be the most competitive on those rates. Now, key takeaways for today. If you are, if you have a jumbo loan, you want to start off with the banks, which is your credit unions, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Those guys are gonna be very, very competitive on the jumbo loan sizes. I like to always keep my options open, but I recommend that you start your search there because those guys, that's their niche. Now, after coronavirus happened, a lot of changes have happened and I know a lot of big banks were not doing some of the jumbo loans, the refinances were kind of on hold, but things are starting to come back up. So you want to start your search there, but always have your offers open. You can always consult with a mortgage broker as well, but jumbo loans, you want to go to the big banks. Number two, um, if your loan size is below 765, you want to start your search with a mortgage broker because they're going to be super super competitive on those rates the costs are going to be very low and the service in my opinion it's going to blow out the service for a big bank it's just that's just how things work it's the nature of business there's more autonomy the teams are smaller so the service you're going to get with a mortgage broker you can't compare it you know it's kind of like tooting my own horn and third guys these are not it's not organic food okay so you're not eating this you want to look at your terms. You want to see what you're paying for the cost on it, what your rate is. And if you're getting a great rate with a mortgage broker as compared to Wells Fargo, there's really no difference there. Um, as far as, you know, obviously the rate and the terms are going to be different, but once you get the rate, everything else is the same. Consumer law applies here. There's no gimmicks behind this. If you're getting a primary mortgage, um, it doesn't matter where you go. As long as you re read your terms, it's all the same stuff. All right, guys, I hope this video was insightful to you. Please don't forget to share, like, and comment because I love to hear from you. Again, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Loans. Until next time.